About a week ago, a Hayes CISD parent claimed her daughters, as well as other volleyball players, were called the N-word during their match against Comal ISD. When people are calling black folks that name and, and threatening people, that, that goes to a whole nother level. Comal ISD says after reviewing video and gathering statements from more than 30 people who were at the game, they did not find evidence to back the claims made. In a statement, they say, quote, other than the two statements from the Hayes players, none of the other individuals who provided statements reported hearing anyone making the statement make a play in word. It's become a habit to uh, try things in the press, so to speak, and have a lot of people vent and cast somebody as guilty until proven innocent. So I was cautiously optimistic uh, that the investigation would prove otherwise. In the video released by the district, it appears the Hayes CISD players in blue look back at the student section. A few minutes later, someone gets off the bench. As she's walking back to sit down, a woman addresses the student section. I can see students being rowdy, especially if you're right behind the other bench trying to distract them, but do I see it? Uh, degrading to that point? No, I really don't. Comal ISD says during the investigation, they did find a group of three students having a conversation that involved the use of racial slurs aimed at each other, and they've received disciplinary consequences. It is absolutely unacceptable in any environment. In a statement, Hayes CISD says, quote, because it's Comal ISD's investigation into its own students, it's their conclusion to make. The Hayes CISD inquiry into the matter finds that the Hayes High School students are being truthful and have no reason to lie.